Alright. So for deinteresting. De um uh, so if you're using a video capture device directly on OBS, um specifically OBS Studio, uh I'm not sure about how it is with actual like regular OBS. Um let me put this off so you can see. So this is with deinterlacing off. This is what I see a lot of people have. Where you can see like if we're all moving objects, they get kind of like those annoying lines. You can look at DK while he's moving. You can see he, he goes and becomes like liney. Just look at it. Just look at his arms right now. That looks horrible. Okay. So how we fix that is uh, you go into your source selection. It's your video capture device. I'm sorry it's in Finnish, but it's your video capture device. Um, you pick deinterlacing. There should be there. Sh this is a default function for video capture devices on OBS Studio. Um, I personally, uh, for DK64, I use an Easy Cap Capture card. So I use bottom field first and linear. Now look at DK's arms. Look, look at everything that moves. You can't see the lines anymore because uh, OBS fixes them. It like puts the puts the frames back together. You can see really, really small sh stuttering somewhere. You can't see um, like clear lines. Uh, so the difference between all of these um, the difference between all of these. Uh, settings is a bit technical and if I would you if I were to be used something else you can see the screen jumping when it tries to fit the screens back together when it tries to fit the fit the um, frames together it jumps slightly it gets even worse if I put it to top field first because this isn't like very compatible with what I'm put outputting right now so it becomes jumpy you can see the screen randomly shaking um, this probably won't be the same for every console, every capture card. Depend it depends a lot on on your video output. But I would I would um, be willing to bet that for any SD uh, capture you would want to do, and for especially for uh, for like older games you want to do uh, bottom field first and linear. Or linear linear times two is generally pretty good. Linear times two is is uh, gets rid of most of the stuttering as well. But you can see this. You can see the screen is slightly hopping up and down even when I'm standing still. So just find whatever works for you. But it is a default function here. Just pick, just mess around and see what looks good. It makes. Uh, the output quality so much better it's not even funny and I see so few so many people just neglecting this so hopefully this helps